Hey everyone, I'm Liz Ferry, and today I'm going to show you how I made three different styles of doll-sized horns. This simple spike-shaped horn, this fancy spiral-shaped horn, and these cute antlers. Some things you'll need for this project are a crochet hook, I'm going to use a size E, a pair of scissors, some stitch markers, a yarn needle. You'll also need a doll to add your horns onto. I'm using my unicorn, dragon, and deer dolls. You can find the written pattern for these dolls in my Ravelry store, or you could use some of my other doll patterns if you prefer. And you'll need yarn in whatever color you'd like to make your horns. For the spike and spiral horns, I'm using white yarn. And for the antlers, I'll use beige yarn. All of these yarns are from Red Heart Super Saver brand, but of course you can use whatever color you want. I've also used four strands of embroidery floss or crochet thread at the same time to make my horns. First, I'll show you how I made a really simple horn. For this style, I'm going to make a little triangle that I'll then fold in half and sew into a spike-shaped tube. To begin, I'm going to chain two, and then chain three more and slip stitch into the third chain from the hook to make a pico. Next, I'll half double crochet in the next stitch. And then double crochet in the next stitch. Next, I'll turn the work and chain three, and that's going to count as the first double crochet stitch in this next row. Next, I'll half double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Then I'm going to slip stitch into the next two stitches of the row. Chain one to fasten off the yarn. and cut off a long tail. Then I'll fold the horn in half and sew it together along the sides. And then use the remaining tail to sew the horn to the doll. Next, I'll show you how I made the spiral shaped horn. So I'm gonna start with a slip knot. Then I'll chain six to create the foundation chain. Next, chain one more to count as the first stitch, and mark that stitch with a stitch marker. Into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to single crochet three times, so that there's a total of four stitches worked into the same stitch. Then I'll work four single crochets into the remaining chains in my foundation chain. So single crochet four times into each of the next five chains. After a few stitches, a spiral should begin to form. At the end of the row, after making four single crochets into each of the six chains of the foundation chain, I'll create a pico. I'll chain four, slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, and into the next chain. Next, I'll slip stitch into the same chain of the foundation that I chained up from to end the row. Then I'll cut a long tail 
to sew the spiral into a horn shape. First, I'll curve the spiral from top to bottom around the tails, pinning the spiral every once in a while to keep the right shape. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'll lock the spiral in place by sewing the tails through the stitches of the spiral, from top to bottom, all the way around the shape. And I'll use the leftover tails to sew the horn to the doll. Next, I'm going to make the antlers using my beige yarn. First, I'll make the left antler. I'm going to leave a long tail at the beginning of the row that I can use to sew the antler into shape later. So I'm going to start with a slip knot and then I'll chain 10. Next, I'll slip stitch in the third chain from the hook and into the next two chains. Now this is going to count as the first branch of three at the top of the antler. Now to make the next top branch, I'm going to chain four, slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, and in the next chain. Then I'll slip stitch into the same chain of the foundation chain that I just chained up from. And there's the second branch. Now to make the third branch, I'll repeat the same thing. Chain four, slip stitch into the third chain from the hook, and then into the next chain. Then slip stitch again in the same foundation chain. And now, as you can see, I've made three branches at the top of the antler. Now I'll slip stitch again along the foundation chain into the next three chains of the foundation chain. Then I'm going to repeat the same thing to create the last branch at the bottom of the antler. So chain 4, slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, and in the next chain. Then slip stitch into the same foundation chain that I just chained up from. Now that I've finished the final branch, I can slip stitch into the last two chains of the foundation chain to end the work. And I'm going to once again cut off a long tail, this time to sew the antler to the head. I'm going to use the other tail end to add strength to the antler so that it isn't so floppy. So with that tail, I'll stitch back and forth through the central branch of the antler only about three or four times, and I'll be careful not to pull too tightly on the yarn so that the antler doesn't get smaller.
Then I'll sew in the rest of this tail, and I'll use the other tail end to attach the antler to the head. Next I'll do the same thing, but in reverse, to make the right antler. Using my beige yarn, I'll start with a slip knot and chain 6. Then I'll slip stitch to the third chain from the hook, and the next chain, to create the first branch at the bottom. Then I'll chain 8 until I get to where the other three branches will go. Slip stitch to the third chain from the hook, and the next two chains, so that's the first branch at the top. Now to make the second branch, I'll chain four, slip stitch into the third chain from the hook, and the next chain. and then slip stitch in the same foundation chain that I just chained up from. Then I'll repeat the same thing to create the last branch. Chain 4, slip stitch into the third chain from the hook, and in the next chain, then slip stitch in the same foundation chain. Then to finish up the row, I'll slip stitch in the remaining 6 foundation chains. And I'll do the same thing with the tails as I did with the other antler. And now I just need to sew the horns to my dolls. I'm excited to use these different horns to make a bunch of different dolls. I've already made a deer, a dragon, and a unicorn. What other types of dolls do you think I should make using these horns? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you made a doll using this or any of my videos, I'd love to see your work. You can find my social media links in the description below, or tag me on Instagram at LizFairy. If you liked this video, you could press the like button or share it on social media, and if you'd really like to help out the channel, you can donate to my Patreon. You can get some pretty cool perks through Patreon, like seeing my videos early and ad-free. Find out more at patreon.com slash fairyearrings. You could also subscribe and click the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!